what's up guys I'm back again with another video guys I'm gonna show you why you want to use good quality waxes and sealants hydrophobic crane wax right here on the top of your SUVs and pickup trucks you know stuff typically what the average person can't reach <coughs> excuse me guys but uh yeah a lot of people cannot reach the top of these SUVs, pickup trucks, and stuff. Most of the SUVs got it bigger on top. And um, as you can see here, mine's is fading down. Why? Because a lot of times you just worry about the size. You don't really think about the top of the SUVs and stuff like that. And they fade. A lot of people can't reach them. They don't have nothing to reach them with. What I do, I have a step stool. But still, mine's faded down. But what you got to use is aggressive cleaners. This is a little bit of Zep here. Zep Purple Mix 41. And uh, you got to have good waxes on top. Now, me personally, I'm six foot three. You know what I'm saying? I'm six foot three. So I really don't have no problem reaching them, you know, because I'm a tall guy in a way. But I still get on a step stool, even though I'm six foot three. You know. I get on a step stool and I still can reach it, but I'm gonna show you guys what you gotta have. You got to take you something like some zip cleaner here. Now, like I said, this is mixed four to one. Cause these areas of the vehicles are hard to reach. So you're gonna want to put your sub up there. See that zip is removing some of the dirt. Grimed out dirt and all that stuff is up here. Wipe that off. First thing you're gonna have to do. It's got some aggressive. You got a lot of dirt packed down up here. That's some of your problems. There's areas of the vehicle where you don't reach. And that's why you find a lot of SUVs and pickup trucks. See here? That's why a lot of this stuff fades down like it does. See? It fades like this because a lot of people can't reach it. So when you own stuff like this, guys, you want to get some good uh, hydrophobic waxes, sealants, and Majestic is one I recommend, you know, for tops and stuff like this especially, because it's made by nano skin, and it's going to be very hydrophobic, you know. So um, when you're working on tops and stuff, that's what you want to do it, man. Get you some aggressive cleaner, because this will take out all the environmental fallouts and tree sap and uh just traffic film. It'll get all that old grime and stuff off. See, you're gonna need to do this when you're doing tops. Let's give it another quick wipe. I'm just showing you guys a little demonstration here. What you're gonna have to do to get these tops back looking good, at least looking decent. I'll say. Then you're gonna wanna uh, take this thing, you might have to compound it. But I'ma just say this is majestic because it's like an all-in-one, you know. It um take out it um filling in fine swirls and all that good stuff. And uh yeah, they get you back right. As you can see, it's taking off some of the dirt and stuff that was there anyway. Now you can get put a coat of something there, like wax or whatever you choose. But um, as you can see, it's faded down. Like I said, a lot of people, a lot of people ain't six foot three. See, uh, a lot of people ain't six six, six five, six three like me. Uh, so a lot of average height person could be about five nine, five ten, somewhere up in there, five eight. You know, they can't. If they ain't got nothing to really step on. It, a lot of times you'll skip washing the top real good. These are most parts of the SUVs that be faded first part be the top if you take notice guys but that's why I said when you up here you're gonna want to put aggressive good good waxes you don't want to put no cheap wax on the top of your vehicles especially SUVs man because uh it's such hard to reach areas you know it's hard to reach and um when you're up here you want to put the good stuff up here you know because this is an area that you can forget about easily too you can forget about this uh, this uh, part of the truck easily. You mostly be concentrating on the side of the truck and all that kind of stuff, the hood and all that. You know, this one ain't even getting no good wax. 
you know, up here in this area of the field. So that's why I bought this little video, guys. No big deal. To show you guys, you need good stuff on top of a vehicle, especially on top of SUVs, mainly. You know. So I hope you guys enjoy this little session. Uh, what you're gonna need now is squeeze a little wax up here. Try to bring this back to life, some you know, like this here. Top has been hammered, man, by sap, do different things. Yeah. I'm trying to get some wax on it and just bring it back to life. So put some compound on it, different things you put up here. I just give you a little demonstration that you need good waxes on top of the cylinders because this area of the SUVs and stuff like that that go unnoticed a lot. A lot of times people forget all about it. Okay, and there you have it, man. I just want to show you that. See that? And looking butter already. She's come to a shine. Just one pass of the majestic. See that? Well, guys, I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.